As Islanders, we like to know what the kids got up to. What, you know, how did they turn out? What are the grandkids like? So this is an opportunity for Islanders to see what the kids of the Fathers of Confederation got up to and indeed the succeeding generation. So, you know, it might satisfy our curiosity a little bit. There were nursing sisters who served in two wars. Uh, you know, one of the fathers we found out actually kept a rowboat in his attic ready for the next great flood. And when you look uh, really far down, there's a great, great grandson who is doing amazing research into the future of the universe. So uh, there's quite a wide uh, variety of, of information and stories out there. And I think that, uh, that it will be good reading. From the Genealogical Society point of view, it's important because it's, it was a real challenge for the genealogist. Normally, they're starting today and working back to find the ancestors but in this case we're starting back and they were having to follow it forward so that was a bit of a, uh, a different approach to the genealogy. Uh, use some of my tools to uh, go back and try to contact some of these people and find out what are you up to and what did your grandfather do and uh, are there any skeletons in the closet that readers would like to know about. It was really, uh, it was interesting to read the old, uh, the old obituaries and to find out the, the depth and level of detail that they had in those because they'd have details like he came in from the burn, he wasn't feeling well, sat down in his chair and died. It was actually quite a challenge for me to uh, work with the genealogists and historians and to try to write uh, features about people who no longer exist. So uh, overall it was, it was challenging and it was interesting and I think it will satisfy the curiosity of Islanders. The thing that surprised me the most is that I used to deliver the Guardian to one of the descendants of John Hamilton Gray and never knew it. So you know what they say, it's a small world.